Hello and welcome to Ashford.com. You are watching an interesting video on paradophia bacteria can become dangerous pathogens. Typhoid fever likely emerged from changes in human living conditions. Please read this disclaimer carefully. Two new papers published this month reveal how bacteria can become dangerous pathogens through completely different routes. One paper shows how a bacterium responsible for serious infection in newborns gained an advantage because it acquired resistance to an antibiotic, and the other paper shows it is likely that changes in the environment helped a typhoid causing bacterium to gain a foothold in human populations. The papers describe a new approach that combines whole genome sequencing, an ability to analyze the genetic code of bacteria in great detail, with phylogenetic reconstruction, an ability to trace the family tree of different strains of the same organism back to a common ancestor. Gordon Dalgan, a professor from the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute in Hingston, near Cambridge in the UK, and co-author of both papers, explains. We have developed systems for characterizing the population structure of pathogens, and use these systems in two instances to yield different findings. We were able to define the time frame of the origin of two completely different infectious diseases, and in future we will be able to use this approach to identify and control emerging threats. Typhoid fever likely emerged from changes in human living conditions. In the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Professor Dalgan and colleagues describe how they worked out that Salmonella enterocus aerovar paradophia, which causes typhoid fever emerged in humans about 450 years ago, but since then it has remained genetically similar. The team suggests paradophia moved from animals to humans when we started living in close proximity to livestock. Over the centuries, paradophia appears to have accumulated genetic mutations, not as a result of any particular event, but through a gradual process known as genetic drift. The researchers suggest the disease may have moved from animals to humans when people began to inhabit denser environments and started living close to their livestock. They suggest the bacterium followed a similar path to whooping cough and tuberculosis, it became fixed in humans and spread around the world. The team also found evidence that in recent decades, the bacterium has begun to change due to use of antibiotics, although those mutations are not currently very stable. The researchers hope their findings will help scientists understand how the pathogen manages to travel within and across human populations, and how its genes change over time. The findings are also timely in that vaccines for paradophia are currently in development and trials should start within the next three years. Tetracycline may have helped GBS become a threat to newborn babies. In the other paper, published in Nature Communications, Professor Dalgan and another set of colleagues trace the genetic development of the bacterium Streptococcus igalaxiae or Group B Streptococcus, GBS, a cause of serious septicemia and shock in newborns. In this case, they found evidence that the disease emerged in the 1960s, not primarily because of previous underdiagnosis, as widely believed but more likely because the pathogen acquired genes that made it resistant to the broad-spectrum antibiotic tetracycline. Overuse of tetracycline led to an evolutionary bottleneck, allowing GBS strains to acquire genes that make it resistant to the drug, transforming a harmless organism into a pathogen that found a niche in mothers and their newborns. Tetracycline may also give GBS another advantage by eliminating the thousands of friendly species of microorganisms living in the microbiomes of mothers and babies, which may stop GBS becoming too dominant. The paper offers insight into another route through which an infectious disease can emerge, this time through inadvertent use of drugs, as Professor Dalgan explains. This is possibly the earliest case of the emergence of a new disease that can be directly associated with antibiotic use. GBS causes a distressing infection of sepsis and meningitis seen in newborn children that can result in severe illness and death, making it one of the most serious diseases in babies. Meanwhile in June 2014, 
a breakthrough in the fight against drug-resistant bacteria. A team at the University of East Anglia in the UK has discovered how the defensive barriers of superbugs are built, a finding that could help develop new drugs to which bacteria cannot develop resistance. Notes and References Thank you for watching this interesting video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. Subscribe this channel, to find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.